Hey there, safe crackers. Get your combinations ready because it's time for the Comic Vault, a vault full of comics that includes the Phantom. That's right. Today on the Comic Vault, we have the Phantom number six. Today, <laughs> the Comic Vault. Uh, this was an okay issue. Uh, I, I feel like we're, we're still getting that consistent uh, characterization of the Phantom that's really necessary to. Uh, uh, have the phantom mythos make sense for the people to call him a ghost who walks as opposed to just that dude in the purple leotard. So uh, we still get that characterization and we still get this uh, this avenger of innocence and this uh, protector of justice and what's interesting about this one is that uh, what he's fighting isn't necessarily even illegal. So this issue is about uh, toxic waste and uh, people are sending or at least in this continuity I'm sure this is based on some kind of true event but uh, uh, people are sending toxic waste to Africa to be stored in uh, uh, really in inappropriate ways why because it's cheaper so people from other countries send this stuff in there and then the people the tribes are unaware of how dangerous this stuff really is so they do store it for people and it becomes pretty common that uh, our people are getting sick. Uh, that is terrible. That's awful. So the Phantom fights against that. There's a, a regular Joe, an African guy, who is uh, just driving his truck in to pick up a shipment. And we also have the ship captain who is driving or who is sailing this uh, shipment of toxic waste in. And uh, the ship captain is extremely depressed because he knows what he's doing is terrible. But uh, in his mind, and they rationalize this, if it's not me who brings it, somebody else brings it. If it's not me who takes the job, then I don't eat. My family doesn't eat. What am I going to do without money? So he makes these moral compromises so that he can uh, you know, feed his family. So he's an interesting guy. He has these conflicts, and it's eating him up inside. I feel like showing these people as ignorant of toxic waste, uh, it's highly possible that they just live such an isolated lifestyle that they haven't heard of this stuff before and that they don't know really what it is. So it becomes just another part of their world. Why would they have any reason to think that it would just make somebody sick by being in proximity to it? So, But on the other hand, I kind of question as to whether or not the people would be ignorant of toxic ways to kind of question whether or not these people that are in this story, I mean, they're driving cars, they're fairly connected to the modern world, even though that maybe they still maintain their tribal life, lifestyles. Uh, I, I kind of question it as to whether or not uh, we're just kind of infantilizing a culture of people based on the fact that they choose to live in uh, uh, tribal ways. I mean, maybe. I don't know. I just question it. I'm not saying that that's really a bad thing. Uh, I am willing to accept that there is a group of people who uh, have not had the uh, ability to know this stuff, or have not had the opportunity to find this out. Uh, there is an interesting message in here about aiding evil. So the man who, or the ship captain who feels super guilty about this, is given an opportunity to change by the shadow, the shadow, or the shadow, the phantom. Man. So the, the phantom shows up and says, you are a good man. I can see it in you. Why are you doing this? And he's, he explains to the phantom that, uh, well, I need to feed my family, blah, blah, blah. And uh, so the, the phantom gives him a chance and says, listen, if you keep doing this, you will suffer punishment because I will punish you. But I'm going to give you the opportunity to change. I'm going to give you a chance to, to, to correct this because they haven't even finished unloading the entirety of the ship. So the man says, fine, you're right. I'll go find a different line of work. I, I know I own this ship and I know this makes me money, but I'm not going to do this anymore. You're right. It just makes sense. So he sets sail on a threat of bodily harm <laughs> and takes the rest of the shipment back. Of course, he's going to tick off a lot of people, but uh, that's just... Uh, an eventuality that he's willing to accept. Why? Because it's the right thing to do. Uh, here's your toxic waste. Find an appropriate way to dispose of it. I'm not going to help you anymore. Anyway, also, 
Uh, there is an interesting message in here about heeding warnings. Why? Because, of course, the, uh, the tribal man... Uh, I keep calling him tribal. I, I'm not sure why he would not know anything just because he lives in a small town. So that's why I say, of course, maybe they're trying to culturally isolate themselves. That's why I say tribal. But uh, that's, that's the only thing I can truly figure out. But this man, from the small village, he takes his truck in to make this delivery, and he happens to get there around about the same time. While he's waiting, there is a man who... Uh, is warning everybody. It's like this stuff is poison. This stuff will sicken everyone around it. You, you are hurting people by taking this back to your village. Do not do that. And uh, so they show this really, this really depressing uh, uh, story arc where people are getting sick and dying. Uh, family, kids, people are just getting sick and dying because of this toxic waste. And uh, since the man took it with him, uh, he is suffering the consequences for not taking the hint that he shouldn't have all of that toxic waste with him. So, I feel like it's interesting. It condemns aiding evil, and it and it condemns people uh, not taking advice, or at least it doesn't necessarily condemn them, but it shows the consequences, or it's, it shows that you will, or that you can suffer consequences for not questioning it, for not thinking it over without, or for doing things without uh, asking questions as to whether or not it's actually healthy to do. So, again, that's a very heavy issue. And a lot of these are morality tales, uh, sort of modern day morality tales, or at least modern day for 89. So, <laughs> I'm Vince, this is Geek Geekvolution, you've been watching The Comic Vault! We'll catch you next time.